Hello test takers, welcome back to exam prep solutions and in this video we're going to find the resultant of a force system uh, using statics and using some equations in the FE manual. So if you want to learn how to solve any FE exam problem, we have a free guide down below how to solve any FE exam problem in five steps. That guide is 100% free. Go to the description box and download that guide, but let's get into the problem. So we're trying to find the resultant force of the system seen below. We have 50 newtons. Uh, heading off to the left and at a 30 degree angle from the x-axis and 75 newtons uh, 60 degrees from the x-axis so what is the first thing we have to do well we want to follow a process right so what is given to us in this problem that's going to be uh, the first thing we're going to want to identify here so let's label our our givens here so right here given and uh, what was given well we, we've got a 75 newton force and we've got a 50 newton force here and uh, they're at 30 degree angles and 60 degree angles uh, respectively. So first thing we're going to do is find out what we need to find in this problem. And we need to find the resultant. So I'm going to go to the FE manual. We're going to look up for an equation to find the resultant of a force. So I'm going to click over here. And I'm just going to put in resultant and see what comes up. And... Uh, Right here, if we look through, we should be able to find something. Here we go, resultant two dimensions. So the force is gonna equal sum of the forces in the x direction squared, plus the sum of the forces in the y direction squared, and then that, then we take the square root of that whole thing. So we gotta find the forces in the x direction, the forces in the y direction, and then um, square them, take the square root, and then we should be able to find the resultant. The problem is not asking for the angle, uh, but just the resultant force here. Uh, in this problem. So here's what we're going to do here. First of all, we've got this angle it's at 75 degrees or it's at 75 newtons at 60 degrees. And so we want to find what it is in the y direction and what it is in the x direction. So here's what we're going to do. Cosine of 60 degrees because cosine is the adjacent right divided by the hypotenuse and then to find the y we're going to use sine so we get cosine of 60 degrees times 75 and then we're going to use sine of 60 degrees times 75 newtons right remembering our forces and so if we go cosine 60 times 75 we're going to get the result of 37.5 newtons there and if we go sine of 60 times 75, we're going to get 65. And what's a good way to check our math on this? Well, a good way to check our math is using the Pythagorean theorem, right? If this is 65 and this is 35 here, we should be able to square these, sum them, take the square root, and it should be 75. And uh, that is correct. So this is our x direction force. This is our y direction force. And we're going to do this for the other force uh, over here now. Same sort of process. Let's go cosine of 30 times 50 newtons and then sine of 30 times 50 newtons. So cosine of 30 times 50 newtons, that's going to equal 43.3 newtons. And that is in the X direction. And then right here, we've got 25 sine 30 times 50, 25 newtons in the y direction. Okay, and so what is the next step now? Well, now we're gonna have to sum the forces in the x direction here, meaning that is positive, and then sum the forces in the y direction, thinking about that as positive. So the first one we had 35.5, and now we need to think about what was the direction of some of these forces. So the ones on the right, those were both positive. But for this angle over here, the X force was actually going in the negative direction. The Y one was going in the positive direction. So that's a negative and that's a positive. So we've got 35.5 plus a negative 43.3. And then for the Y one, we're gonna have 65 plus 25. So then we get 
the forces in the X, the forces in the Y. So the forces in the X here are negative 5.8, and the forces in the Y are going to equal 90 Newtons. And so what's the next step? Let's look over at our equation over here. We're going to square them, add them, and then take the square root. So if we take 5.8, it doesn't matter about the sign because we are squaring it. And the same thing here, 90 squared. And we're going to take a square root of the whole thing. And then if we use our calculators here, let me just pull mine out real quick. 5.8 times 5.8 plus 90 times 90. We take the square root of the whole thing. We're going to find the resultant force of this whole system being 90.19 newtons. And we can see that over here, that's going to be option D. 90.19 newtons was the resultant force. So what was the, the process here? We found the forces that were given. We wanted to find the resultant, so we summed the forces in the x direction and the y direction. We did that with some basic trigonometry, finding out what, what were the x and y forces. Then we summed them, summed the forces in the x direction here, 35.5 uh, plus a negative 43.3. And then we took a 65 plus 25, that equaled 90. Then we're using our equation that we found, the FE manual, we squared them and then we took the square root. And that was able to get us an answer of 90.19. And then we selected D. So that is how to find the resultant force of the system. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was very helpful. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, test takers.